nice frame of a church. It's called the Ghosted Church. No, the church isn't haunted by ghosts. Okay, well, maybe the Holy Ghost, but that's different. You see, this frame of the church reminds us that the friars that work here... Hi, Friar Tom. Oh, hi, Gracie. As I was saying, all the friars that live and work here are part of a much larger community of Capuchins all over the world, just like we are part of the community too. So, as the friars take care of us and feed us, we are supposed to take care of others. In this next story, it's exactly what happens. And of course, Father Solanus was there to help. John McKenna worked at the Chevrolet Automobile Factory. He built cars with hundreds of other people on the assembly line but some factories were closing down. You see, years ago our country's economy was very bad, and like John, they couldn't buy food for their families. Thousands of men and women were out of work. It was a very hard time. They called it the Great Depression. Now John was a Christian man who had a strong faith in God, but he was only working a few hours a week and unsure how to support his family. Discouraged, he went to Father Solanus. Father, I don't know what to do. I can't support a wife and family with the hours I've been working. I haven't had a full day now in weeks. Father Solana said, you know, John, there are 500 other men and women in your plant that are also out of work. John was sad. He shook his head and looked down at the desk between him and Father Solanus. On the desk was a notebook for enrolling people in the Seraphic Mass Association. You see, Capuchin missionary priests all over the world pray for the people whose names are written in the book. Father Solanus waited, holding a pen in his hand. John glanced at the notebook. And suddenly his eyes flew wide open. Father, let's enroll Chevrolet, the whole company in the association. Father Solanus thought it was a great idea. Normally one mass was said for one person. Why not say 500 masses for 500 people at the plant? All right, John, said Father Solanus. It's a deal. John McKenna was so excited, he offered to pay for a whole year's enrollment in the association for the entire company, even though he was out of work and very poor. You're never going to believe what happened next. That very night, just a few hours later, Chevrolet received a huge order for cars. John and all his co-workers headed back to the plant. John McKenna was so excited to tell Father Solanus the news. Father, we had overtime yesterday, and now we hear the company has an order for 45,000 more cars in the next 30 days. That was the order that saved Detroit from bankruptcy and taught John McKenna that sacrificing for others is more important than worrying about your own security. Blessed be God in all his designs.